All right, guys, as I kind of hinted at the last episode, we've got our War Maiden. Here she is in all of her glory. We leveled her up. God, she's not wearing much clothes, is she, at all, but that's okay. Her idea behind, um, the whole idea behind War Maiden is that she's a decreased defense champion. Now, why is that important? Well, obviously, our Kale does damage. That's all he does. Well, there's a few other things, but all he really does is he's there as our damage dealer. As I said at the end of the last video, we've got him nearly at the crit chance that we need, so that this is always a critical chance. He's A2. Um, but the idea is that the War Maiden comes in, she hits with this ability here, which drops our target's defense before our damage dealer comes in. There's no point our damage dealer going first and then our War Maiden going second and coming in and giving decreased defense after the fact the Kale's already hit. We want decreased defense first before our damage dealers deal damage. Um, I was farming away. As, as you probably noticed, I spent near almost 600 energy. I did this while also farming up champions. But in the Dreadlands here, or the Deadlands, sorry, um, you've got the War Maiden as a possible drop from this uh, area of the, the campaign. So Deadlands is where you want to be farming. If you, you know, I got here a little bit stuck around um, stage 11. Hollowed Halls and as well stage 10 as well a little bit because as the um, affinities start changing it becomes harder for Kale to deal damage because he's not always guaranteed to have a strong hit or a normal hit sometimes he hits with a weak hit which often, then you're not doing as much damage okay so what do you mean weak strong normal hits well if you look at the affinity triangle on the screen right now you've got Force champions, the red ones, ones that have got little red icons in the bottom left-hand corner, they are strong against magic champions, which are the blue ones. Blue champions, magic champions, are, are strong against spirit champions, and then spirit champions are strong against force champions. So for someone like Kale, who's a magic champion, they have a hard time fighting force champions, which means that they sometimes will often hit with a weak hit. This just means that um, it's not a critical hit, it's not a normal hit, and you're actually doing less damage than you ordinarily would have. But yeah, back to the regularly scheduled programming. So the Deadlands here, I farmed up my War Maiden. As I said, it took me about 600 energy or so, maybe give or take. I started farming a bit of um, Dragon here as well, which was giving me some good gear on stage five. I was able to get some, some three to four star artifacts from the stage five there. Um, because obviously Dragon there drops your accuracy gear. He also drops your speed gear and lifesteal gear. They're three really, 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 really important gear sets in your early game. You want to make sure that you've got enough speed on your champions. You also need to have enough accuracy on your debuffers. And your damage dealers also get benefit from lifesteal gear. So those three gear sets right there are so important. So really, my roster is starting to shape up to something really special. If I go into campaign here, I'm already on Brimstone Path. This is day the start of day three. This is what my roster looks like right now. So I've got, as I said, a bit of healing from... I've got my Kale, obviously, here as my damage dealer. I've got my War Priest here. She has a little bit of healing. She's also got an increased attack buff there if my Mordecai one falls off. Um, or if in between rounds, you know, obviously if Mordecai's buff isn't up, then War Priest might have hers. And then my last one is my War Maiden who comes in as my decrease defense champion. So um, my roster right now is shaping up really quite well. And as you can see, just here in the middle, you've got your, um, your affinity sign. So right now I'm going against um, some spirit affinity champions, the three there at the bottom. And then one of my uh, Force Affinity champion here as Soul Drinker. So right now, my Kale will be doing really well against the three uh, Spirit Affinity champions, the Hellfangs and the Lord Shazars. But he'll struggle against the uh, Soul Drinker here. So um, hopefully my War Maiden can come in and my Mordecai as well to assist him in making sure that we get through. Hey okay, guys, I'll bring you back. So we've got the Clan Boss here. The easy loot crate, 
We got both of them because uh, our clan killed the easy version and I was able to get over that 1.1 million damage. So if I claim here, we should get two chests. This is the first one. We got some immortal gear with some speed on it. That's perfect. That's really, really good. It's four star as well. It's probably some of our best gear right now, actually, to be fair, to put on one of our tanks. So I'll keep that. What do we get here? And some cruel gear as well. It's not got the, be the best uh, stats here. It does have some accuracy, which would be really nice. If I compare that cruel set with something else, this might actually be a really nice piece for War Maiden because of that, uh, that accuracy there. So, um, really good kind of piece there. I'll probably be looking to do it again. I might even show you guys just a, just a quick run of what it looks like for this. So, as I said, I've got my Kale, I've got my um, Mordecai, I've got my War Priest, War Maiden, and Armiga right now. So, we'll just start that on auto. It, right now, there's no speed tuning, no massive any... Like, there's some speed tuning for... Um, the arena but right now this is just kind of a free-for-all they're just kind of going at it right now using whatever moves they've got um, and we kind of just see what happens there so um, as you see Kale's probably putting out the most damage because he's got all these poisons there um, everyone else is kind of just attributing a few like two to three four five K hits in there somewhere so I'm not too worried. It's actually kind of nice that at the moment this War Maiden here is taking the stun away from my Kale. That means Kale's able to then go and get an easy hit. So look at these poisons just stacking up here at the moment. That's really, really what we want. So Mordecai's giving us some nice turn B boost in there, which is really good. As you can see, we're just going to scrape over that. Well, that was a nice, bit, nice juicy bit of poison damage just there. So um, that will actually put us over 750. 800. Maybe we could even one key this at the moment, which would be really nice. Not quite. So it's nice quick, as you see. Kale there's done 500 damage. Mordecai, I, I don't think you. Don't sleep on this guy. Do not sleep on Mordecai. He's amazing, amazing champion. He's got his HP burn. He also smacks as well, just with his A1. Uh, and also, as well, as I said, it gives that increased attack. If you watched my last episode, increased attack. He's my, he's my man. He's my one that's making my Kale hit so much harder. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that. That's good. So 800k, that just puts me in this Adept chest here. But I will be looking to, when this recharges, back in four hours, when I wake up tomorrow morning, I'll be able to claim that chest, the warrior chest again, um, when that resets. So I'm really happy with that, where we're at right now. Okay guys, and then just to sign off this episode, I just wanted to talk about this. I got a, an ancient shard as well from um, the market. Just always check this this place, guys. Always check it. That's actually a really nice piece. It's probably a little bit too expensive for what I want to spend my money on right now. Um, these boots, if they had speed here, accuracy, crit rate, HP, these are great stats, except the fact that it's a, I probably wouldn't take this. I would want speed on my boots. So I'm gonna leave that one in there. As I said, it's probably a little bit too expensive right now for me. So I'm just gonna leave those. Um, I did unlock these two slots here because they only cost silver. So uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch the gems just yet. As you can see, my gems are stacking up. It's only my third day, and these gems are almost. What I'm trying to do is aim for 800. So I can come in here on my kale. I can get my first set of masteries. Like I. Um, I did some of these from the Minotaur quest that you have to do on the mission here, where you had to go through and do a Minotaur mission. Um, so I, I was lucky enough to get some on Kale there, which is really cool. So I've got crit rate and accuracy. That's just to land his poison. And this is just to make sure that I've got the 85%, which I'm very close to. I'm at 81 right now. So uh, we're doing quite well there. Guys, this is the one thing that I wanted to show you and bring you in on. Um, before we close up for this episode. So we've got here um, my Gore Mask, which I'm going to feed these three champions to him. That means I've got one, two, three, and four. And look at that. That's gonna make my Kale a five star. That's amazing. One other thing, guys, and I'll just quickly talk to you about too, is that um, I picked up a few clan quests. 
when you join a clan, you can pick up these things called like these quests. And I picked up two of the th um, some of the easiest ones here. Except I didn't realize this was actually tag team. I probably should have just done that. It was classic. If it was classic, that would be a really good one. But this one here, place 20 decreased debuffs, defense debuffs in classic arena wins only. I've done nine nine arenas already, and I'm getting that. This one here, I just picked this because I knew that I was going to upgrade my Kale. And look at this, 100 clan gold. I'll, I'll collect that. You come here into the clan shop, and look at this. I've got some great, great options available here. I could either go here and I can get maybe a Yannicka. She's a legendary champion. She uh, is great in the arena. Attacks all, and ignore, attacks all enemies, ignores shield buffs. That's awesome. She's also then got an attack aura as well, which which is kind of what we want. I'm not going to go buy her just yet though. I'm probably just going to keep hoarding this silver um, because I'll probably want to save it for a bit of energy when a, um, a clan v clan comes up. So I'm just going to hold that. As I said, I'm saving my gems. I'm saving my clan gold. Just trying to amass as many resources as possible. And look at that, another 100 gems. We're getting so close already to that 800 and I, I've barely started um, barely started this account so um, we're making our way through it this is kind of getting close as well this weekly quest I've done two out of five days so far I've almost got myself another ancient shot I am just gonna sit on this one I'm gonna sit on it and wait for it um, I really want a times two legendary or epic um, event to be able to pull this with a bit of confidence I just actually missed one um, in the weekend that's just passed, but that's where we're up to guys. Um, just another little kind of check-in. We've got my Kale up to five star. Mordecai's still sitting at four. War Maiden's at 30, but she's got all the all the speed gear that she needs. Armiga, he's just kind of chilling, and so is our War Priest there. So at the moment, we just got a bunch of level one champions, which I might even just throw into, might start leveling them up to make more food. But the goal will now be to get my Kale to level six, to six star, all the way, so that way I've got then someone who's able to reliably farm my campaign. But anyway guys, that's all for today. If you've got any comments, just leave them down below and make sure you subscribe. Thank you, bye.